Uh, my name is Gene Treader. I live here in St. Paul, and among other things, I am the founder of the uh, Treader uh, Collection in Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual, and Transgender Materials at the University of Minnesota, and I am an openly gay man myself. I'm supporting Dave Thune for re-election because uh, as far as I can remember, and I've been involved in St. Paul and St. Paul politics since the uh, early 60s, even before Dave moved here from Fargo. Um, and I do not recall of at any time where Dave was not a supporter of the uh, GOBT community. And we had some fairly dark times here. Uh, when uh, Anita Bryant and them overturned uh, the Gay Lesbian Rights Act on, based on uh, initiative and referendum, uh, Dave uh, stood by us uh, when we sometimes wouldn't even have places where we could hold meetings and things like that. Uh, Dave would open his home and his business for us when he had the little art show. There was a number of times we had fun uh, when he had the little art shop, excuse me. There was a number of times he opened it up, and um, we did fundraisers there and things like that. When we had a particular Coleman, not the current Coleman, uh, who was mayor of St. Paul, and uh, he would refuse to sign the uh, pride on, uh, letter for uh, honoring uh, Gay Pride Day in St. Paul and celebrating it, Dave would go back to the city council and uh, get past a pride resolution through the city council just to show that the people of St. Paul, even though they no longer had um, an equal rights amendment, were, uh, were still supportive of the gay lesbian community that lived in uh, St. Paul. Um, I think he's... Uh, remarkable man in that he's been able to uh, stick through all these times, both good and bad, and uh, I'm very pleased and happy that uh, he has indeed uh, supported the GOBT community during that time. Thank you. My name is Dean Hires, and I have been a member of the St. Paul area, living downtown in a condo uh, for about nine years, and living about two years in the West 7th area. And Dave Thune has always been available for our community. My wife, more than I, was really active in the downtown St. Paul community, and I constantly remember I need to reach Dave, he'll know who to connect us to. And we always either got our answers for things that were going on in the community, got direct support, or got connected to somebody who would listen to us. So it was always a warm invitation. We were never forwarded off to somebody where we had to start cold. We always said, Dave connected us to you, and that person already knew we were gonna call. So one of the important things in a community is actually having somebody that you can reach out to who will take your calls, who you can get on a cell phone, who, who you'll be able to reach via email, and who will respond back. The other thing is that Dave Thune has been very involved with his assistants and his associates. Uh, Pat Lindgren has always been available to us, and so being able to reach people has been important. But let me capture it in this one simple story. Dave had a loss in his life. Someone in his family died, and we went to his funeral. The whole point was to support him and pay him back. And when I got in line to greet him and, and give him uh, my condolences, he connected me to someone. I was there for him, and even in that state, he connected me to someone, got a lead, and I ended up landing a job when I was there trying to support Dave at his time of need. So there's a lot of reasons why Dave is my first choice, but the number one is he's accessible, he's interested, he learns who you are, and he makes himself available for, for you for the things you need and the things your community needs. Hello, my name is Wendy Nimitz Kramer, and I'm a West Sider. And I'll tell you why I'm supporting Dave Thune. You know, I came from a neighborhood where I had no idea who my city council person even was. To a neighborhood, the West Side, where it seems like everyone knows Dave Thune and he attends practically all events. I met him right away at a national night out event. 
I've met him many times at the neighborhood council, the safety group, all over the place. It seems like he's part of us. Like he wants to be able to help you. He wants to be able to work with you on whatever. And I've called him about houses I didn't like on my street. And I've called him about snow abatements. And even if he can't always fix it for me, he always gives me a resource. I've never worked with someone like that who's just in it for me and in it for the community. And that's why I'm supporting Dave Thune. Hi, my name is Bob Spaulding, and I'm supporting Dave Thune for many reasons, but a big one among them is the Skyway system downtown, and Dave has been a champion to make sure that the Skyway system works not only in the daytime hours for the people who work and visit downtown, but also the evening hours when a lot of residents use the Skyway system. Previously, parts of it uh, were closed or could have easily been closed, and Dave has made sure that our public Skyway system works for everyone. We took a tour a couple of years ago around midnight and looked at what was open and what wasn't. And in fact, when we stopped to talk in a public part of the system, a booming security voice came over and asked us what we were doing. Dave has made sure the system is open and works for everyone. Thanks, Dave. Hi, my name's David Rich. I live and work in the West End on the edge of downtown St. Paul. I urge you to vote for Dave Thune for City Council. He's a great community person. He represents a broad coalition of progressive causes. He's been very effective at making some good things happen in our neighborhood. He's also effective at helping to prevent bad things from happening in the neighborhood. So please vote for Dave Thune as your first choice on November 8th. He's willing to take the heat to keep West 7th cool. Hi, my name is Erin Murphy and I live in the Summit Hill neighborhood of Ward 2 in St. Paul. And I am uh, wanting to tell you why I am supporting Dave Thune for City Council. He's my first choice in this race and I hope he'll be your choice as well. I've known Dave for a long time. He's served on the City Council and he's deeply experienced with our neighborhood, with the issues uh, that we face and in a time like today when we're facing so many difficult uh, issues for the future, we need experience. I'm mostly uh, wanting to share my support for Dave on his early work, his pioneering work on a local ordinance to ban uh, tobacco use in public places. Eventually Minnesota adopted this piece of legislation, but before that, city by city, city councilors and mayors were working to introduce this legislation and pass it. As a registered nurse, I know that secondhand smoke is dangerous, and by making sure that people aren't exposed, we've opened up Minnesota's businesses to everybody and we're making sure that our city and the state of Minnesota are healthier for everybody, for us, our children, and our future. That's why I support Dave. He's courageous. He's willing to do hard work for the people of the city of St. Paul. I hope you'll support him as well. Thanks. Hi, my name is Kat Sling Sparta. I am a recent resident to St. Paul, and specifically Laura Town. I have been living in Deval, and um, I just want to tell you a little bit about why I support Dave Thune as my representative. Um, Dave recently helped us create an issue with our with inspections um, in terms of being able to keep open our community room and Dave connected us to some great resources that allowed for us to keep our communal space open. Uh, without his help, um, it just it, it wouldn't have been possible. So it's great to have a representative that really cares about you as individual constituents. Um, he's very genuine, he listens to what your needs are and does his best to try and help you whatever the situation is so um, I highly recommend him uh, and I look forward to having him represent us for another four years. Hi my name is Merritt Brock and I live in the Little Bohemia neighborhood which is part of the West 7th area and I'm voting for Dave Thune because he's been a great partner in our neighborhood as we work to overcome the damage done by some slum landlords in our area and when I say partner, I mean that Dave has really been there as a resource for us, he's looking out for us, and he's been teaching us how to do this work on our own. So as we come up with problems, he's not fixing them for us, but he's teaching us how to fix them and how the city can work together with the neighborhood residents. So at each stage of the game, feel like the neighborhood has been involved, had a voice, and that we've been learning how to partner with city government to rehabilitate vacant houses, to create a park, and to develop other resources within our neighborhood. 
So that's why I'm voting for Dave Thune as my first choice this fall. Hi, I'm Jocelyn Sweet Bontour from St. Paul's West Side, and the biggest reason I'm supporting Dave Thune for St. Paul City Council is because I think he's a consistently good listener, and he listens to everybody from all walks of life. He's a, he's a humble, strong leader. Um, how can you not like a man that um, supported and was a major influence on the no smoking ban for all St. Paul bars and restaurants, making it a good place to breathe again? so you can actually enjoy your food. And I'm attracted to his support for the arts, and not only does he support it, he is an artist. So that's a great accomplishment for St. Paul. And um, as a person working for a nonprofit housing agency, he's done incredible things for the um, older housing stock in St. Paul. Um, I do foreclosure counseling, but we also have a lot of homes that are being restored, and the funding that he gets, and obtains for these projects throughout the distressed neighborhoods in St. Paul is a wonderful boon for our neighborhoods. And lastly, um, at, when I worked as a block club organizer in St. Paul with the St. Paul Police Department, he was always there to listen to the concerns and increase the safety of our neighborhoods, whether it was a meeting for just one or two people or 250 people. He was an amazingly responsive and good leader. So. Um, if you don't believe me, you call him and see him, see for yourself, or uh, his aide, Pat Lindgren, who shines. Um, and so I uh, am a big supporter of Dave Thune for St. Paul City Council. I'm Mark Hughes, and I wish to support Dave Thune this November 8th, Election Day, and I wish to tell everybody in Ward 2 to please vote for Dave Thune, and here's why. Because he has supported the disabled community in St. Paul, for the past 30 years or better. He has done tireless work on the sidewalk patio cafe. He has done a lot of work on disability parking issues. Uh, then those are just to name a couple. And uh, Dave is a St. Paul businessman, and he's just a, a great uh, family man and a great individual. So we're urging everybody in Ward 2 on November 8th to vote for Dave Thune. Thank you. Hi, I'm Carrie Sheldon, and I support Dave Thune as city for city council. and. Um, because he has done a lot for the disability community. My name is Jim Thayer. I do volunteering in the disability community, and I would like to have everybody back Dave Thune in Ward 2, uh, as I am going to do. He's done a lot of work with us and for us in the disability community, uh, in particular in the um, cafe, sidewalk cafe ordinance. So um, please back Dave Thune for City Council. Thank you.